Hello guys, today it is time to look at some new scary videos again that you hopefully have never seen before. And now without further ado, let's buckle up and stay frosty. The following video was posted to the paranormal section by user Lucky1196. The user uploaded this short clip and asked the community, what did I record that night? Is this a ghost or a headless burning man? Maybe a creepy looking mannequin. What is that? He was on a nightly trip with his motorbike and after stopping for a quick break, he took his helmet off and was looking for something in his backpack. He states that after enabling the flashlight, he also started a video recording, which was accidental. He noticed something really weird in the background when checking the video. The man was sure to have been alone that night at that location. There should have been nobody else there. Yet, a figure can be seen, possibly missing its head. How is this possible? Is it an apparition perhaps? Or how else could we explain this? It definitely creeped the man out. The next case was reported by user Marlene Anna White. She states that her apartment seems to be a place of lots of mysterious activity. In her mind, there's no doubt that this place is extremely haunted. Apparently, she's seeing and hearing things in there that make her and her child really uneasy. It all started with inexplicable shadow sightings that were seen at night, but they mostly were seen just for a few seconds before disappearing again. One day though, while using the bathroom, she was seeing something quite terrifying unfolding right in front of her in the shower, a sighting that made many believe that her apartment might be haunted by a ghost child. After sharing this incident, people asked if she herself might have lost the child, and this was her reply. Yes. Back in 2013 I was 25 weeks pregnant, he was a stillborn. So, could it be that the spirit of her lost son was visiting her and the family? This is the recording that shook her to the core. I only have one baby at my house today, the rest of them are with grandma. You can clearly hear my baby in the living room crying. I was on the toilet when I felt like something was watching me. I've been on edge ever since I took a picture and my dad was behind me by the door. So I decided to turn the camera on and record dot this is not my dad, I don't know what it is. Is this a ghost child? It certainly has the height of a child. Who are you? To show her skeptics that it was not one of her own children, her son steps into the shower to showcase that his silhouette looks completely different. Stand in the shower real quick so I can show people something, please. So, if it's not him, who else was it in your opinion? What a spooky recording. The next video was recorded by the security camera of a family in Michigan. Heather and Joseph are parents to a little baby girl. They have one of their cribs situated in the living room area to keep her close to them. What's strange is that the two believe that their place is haunted. Apparently an entity has already attacked both of them and even her little toddler Lily. The young mother even states that one morning something was grabbing her by the neck after just waking up in her bed. After talking to a paranormal expert who investigated the place, they came up with the conclusion that the former resident of this apartment might still be lingering. He died in there by the way. 
One evening, the nanny camera captured the following apparition walking by the crib in the living room. Are we looking at the former owner here? Or what could this mysterious capture mean? The next video was sent by Simon F and he told me that he found it on a random reddit thread. Unfortunately without writing down the uploader, we are seeing another family home and another young mother is spending some time with her newborn and her little daughter. And yet again, it is said that the home of this family has some really unusual things happening once in a while. In the following recording, we see the young mother watching television and her older daughter is about to leave the living room. However, this doesn't go as planned. Her mother is sure that something pushed her forcefully and the little girl stated that it felt like an ice cold wall that was hitting her. Strange. Unfortunately it is unknown what exactly caused this wall to appear. Do you have an explanation? Next is a really unsettling capture that was shared by Untidy Hexagon. He states the following. The story behind this capture is very bizarre. I took it when I was about 5 or 6 years old, when we lived in a house that we always thought was extremely haunted. We were seeing shadows, entities move around and hearing things being thrown. It became a normality for us. One late evening, I was sitting on my mom's lap taking pictures of myself. She had one of those big bulky chairs, which she had placed in a corner. Behind the chair was a small space, although not nearly enough space for anyone to fit in. Either way, I was snapping away at her phone, taking pictures. I was using her old Nokia phone, so I had to use the rear camera to take pictures of myself. After taking five pictures of myself in a row, I decided to look through them. However, the third picture was far from funny. I'll never forget the feeling I felt throughout my body. It was like I felt the sudden urge to just run away. My mom asked me what was wrong. I remember her face when she saw this strange entity as well. Her jaw literally dropped and that's when I knew it was real. I could tell she was trying to keep her cool for my sake, but was really terrified. We looked through the photos together to see if maybe, just maybe, the picture had come from somewhere else. But it hadn't. It was taken right after the other two pictures before it. There was even two last pictures of my silly face after it. So what do you guys think? Could they capture something sinister visiting them that evening? Or somebody else from the afterlife? I just heard the noise up here. The next videos were recorded by a couple that also documented some really terrifying poltergeist activity in their home. After moving in, the channel owners of Amer Kate Haunting started filming what they describe as the most bone chilling encounters that they have ever witnessed. Hoping that these events had a rational explanation at first, that something else seemed to have taken hold of their house. Can you please move something on the shelf? What the? Oh, good upstairs. Good upstairs. Going down. That's the shit. That's the love shit. Besides this entity scaring the two, it also seems to have a disliking for the German Shepherd. Where's your boy? What's up? Whoa! 
and one of the most frightening nights Whoa. shaped out to be the following one, when this poltergeist activity made its way into their kitchen. One night, they have captured this face-like thing in the reflection of the cabinet door. Could this be the entity? On another night, the owner heard some strange noises outside his room and snapped this. A shadow entity seems to be standing there, a childlike one perhaps. Could it be the reason for all this activity? Who can say? Thank you guys so much for watching. 